Hi there, this is Marine Hashmi and if you are new to this channel, I am an art curator and an artist and which is why I am making this video because I receive a lot of portfolios in my DM, emails, messages, all kinds of stuff, a lot of queries about, you know, reactions as well that why am, am I not responding because sometimes portfolios are not so good. You can just click some photos and, you know, expect a gallery to exhibit your work sorry for being blind but this is life and that's how uh, everything is and then we need to learn to improve and go further by improving yourself as well i was rejected i was refused i'm still being refused by some places you know it doesn't matter it matters that how are you going further and how are you being resilient also in your work so the thing is um i made this vlog while i was curating in a gallery and i made it here so there it is uh but first see my promo and then the vlog and hit on the notification bell and subscribe button because i am posting every week artists today those artists who are in my list and who are working hard to participate in big shows and uh, to be displayed by galleries so about that uh, whenever i am posting the opening uh, or any projects is happening and then i'm receiving these messages can i participate so first of all you cannot participate in a show which is happening um after a week or two days after or it's ongoing why because we plan these shows months earlier or sometimes a year earlier um there that's one thing another thing is that you want to participate and you send just a message that uh, i want you to sell this painting or display this work and everything curators and galleries don't sell work like this it's not a joke it's not a hobby it's like proper work there is a proper uh, there is a certain procedure to sell your work also and there are so many artists they are big names they are senior artists who are producing work so uh, we have to keep our standards high and it has to be selective as well um about that if you are trying to approach a curator or a gallery please do send your portfolio with all the details with mediums your artist statement your cv wherever you exhibit and everything that's how a curator can decide about uh, displaying your work to be um of that level that a gallery would love to uh, uh, you know um, represent you or a curator would love to include your work in a gallery so there are certain kind of um, i can say filters um everybody's painting right so if you are drawing a flower or something and then you think your circle of friends think that uh, you are really good at it but that's your circle of friends they only know your art when you go to a gallery or an art circle or an art scene um you have a lot you have a big competition and it's a very tough competition as well especially if you um exhi are exhibiting an international market and uh, you have to work really hard keep applying keep approaching keep producing work which will be displayed um, in those galleries later on so it's very difficult it's not a job that you draw a paint you draw a flower or a portrait and you ask that you know i want to exhibit this with you or i want to sell this and i mean it's not that simple after that which is very important that if you want to grow and if you want to be on that level that you would uh, be part of a group show or a project or displaying your solos or selling your paintings for millions of dollars or whatever you have to kill your ego first you have to unlearn things you have to learn from the artists who are senior and uh, who are displaying the work and who are producing the work you have to study about it you have to improve and to come to that level because my recent series of work it took me a year and a lot of people a lot of artists who are put, um, you know exhibiting their solo shows it takes two years or sometimes three years or a year long time to produce that kind of work because there is a lot of thought processes about the concept it's about the context of the work that um, gets you there so all the best and uh, keep working hard and try to improve as well and there's no harm if you are not good enough you can always improve you can always um, go higher and higher and further and further i'm learning 
and a new thing every day it's as i think i am growing every day you know on daily basis that's how you grow further you can't just be egoistic and uh, you know yeah you know what i'm talking about so thank you so much for watching see you soon hope you enjoyed the instructions and you are going to follow these as an artist and also it was it will be helpful please do mention in the comments below if you want to know more anything else about art or if you have any questions you can also follow me and connect get connected on my instagram as well uh, I'm, I mean, I live, breathe, eat, sleep, think art. So that is my life. My work is also parallel to my CPDSD and a lot of activism and uh, a lot of things. That's why I started making these vlogs to explain my work to you who could not do that uh, or had a hard time or people who are asking me always that I could not understand, you know, what does this painting mean? So this channel is for you and I see a lot of art lovers around me. So hit on the subscribe button. I do uh, I post on every Saturday at 4 p.m. and do share it among your friends and families and your kids because it's very educational and it's uh, it's a good learning experience for them. Take care of yourself. Much love. Bye.